Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at colour here and in particular RGB and HSL and in particular hue and how we can use this to do things like fills which are harmonious with the colours within the picture. So let's start off. We're going to go into this area here where there are lots of different colours but they're all sort of this reddish kind of colour. So how can we understand this a bit more? We're going to start off, I'm going to go to View, Studio and the Info Panel, which I've got on Shift-I. And if we go over here, watch the red, green and blue as I move over here, it shows what's under the cursor. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. So I go into brighter and darker colours within there. Which means, so the question is, how can I understand that a bit more? Well, I'm going to use the Colour Panel from up here as well to do a bit more of that. So, and then go to the pipette here, drag this over to here. Let's go to that there, which is kind of a fairly typical sort of colour. Then um, click on the pipette and you can see here the colour shape that's happening. And this defines the colour. You've got blue is the lowest, red is the highest, and the green in the middle is a little bit push to the left. If you put it in the middle exactly, then the colour here starts to be not match so much. But when you push it over to the left, it's a kind of a matching colour. You can make this effect as well. I can sort of stretch this and play around this differently. But if I pull that slightly to the left, the colour I got there, there's a bright orange. You haven't got this range in here, but that's going to fit in there a bit better as well. In fact, you find one which would work better. Bring them close together doesn't matter here. Look at that. I've made one colour there, which is going to fit quite well here. So the arrangement of here, the relative positions as well, is you're going to define the hue. Because you, you're going to get a consistent hue across here. Let's look at that again with the info panel. We'll change this one here to show hue. So I'll click on the top there, go to HSL. Now watch that H figure up there as I move around over here. It's not changing much, is it? It's kind of going around a bit between, a lot of the time it's between about 15 and 25. So if I want an average colour, I just need to set the hue. I can look at the others as well. So if I look at saturation, then a lot of the saturation there, yeah, it's around about the 20-ish mark as well, isn't it? And luminosity is going to go up and down a little bit more because you're going to get the brighter colours here. That's around the 60 mark and down in the shadows, down in the 20. So a bit more variation in that. But the thing is, we're understanding what's happening in the different areas to look at the colours. So what can we do with this? What's the use of it? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and put in a layer, new fill layer. And we're going to go to the colour thing here and we're going to go to the RGB here and click on that and go down to HSL. And we're going to play around with this and change this to be the right colour. And the way to do this is we'll say, well, it was around about 15 to 25. So we'll just type 20 into there for hue. And we've immediately got a matching colour. We can then, if we want to, adjust the saturation. So it was nearer 20, wasn't it? So maybe bring that down here. But then we can make that light and dark to suit. So I hit Control zero to go fully out and then I'm just going to blend this in. So I'll go to normal down to soft light and you can see here before and after that fill matches the colours on this, you know, the lights and the darks rather nicely. And I could play around with this as well is so I can say, well, let's just make that fill a bit darker and lighter and it's still going to match. I can do this with other parts as well. So if I turn that layer off and I just get up the info panel again, it was shift I had set it to. Look at the hue here as I go over the tree. And it's a lot of it's round about a hundred, isn't it? So if I go to that fill layer there, there, set the hue to say a hundred, then all of a sudden I've got the tree here. Look at the difference. When I turn that on before and afterwards, it's brightening up that. I can turn down the effect, of course, with opacity, but I'm now enhancing the tree colours, the hue there. But if I want to turn that down, I, what I can do with that is something which, which is again fairly neat, but I need to, here there's a fill layer, I need to rasterize this because it doesn't work otherwise. 
So I go down to rasterize and I can put in an HSL. And the HSL, I can turn the color to be the opposite color. So I'll just simply drag this around 180 degrees and look at what's happened here. The tree now has gone back the other way. So from being standing out a bit, the trees are now gone backwards. You can, of course, mask this so you're just applying it to certain parts of the, of the, the, the picture. But you've got ways there of looking for the hue, setting your fill colours to match the hue or be opposite to the hue, and either then bringing out that colour or sending it backwards and making it darker. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.